I'm going to bring Kevin Glenn in right now, who is asked to come on the Rod Peterson Show here in show number eight. We were only two weeks into doing this thing. Kevin has asked to come on. He's got an announcement to make. It's his 40th birthday, and he is at his kids' school today. Clark, can you bring up Kevin Glenn to open the show? There they are, kids. KG, happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know if you can even hear us. KG, listen. I can hear you now, Ron. Lordy, Lordy, look who's 40. Happy birthday. Thank you. What? And what? Take so it away. What, so so, uh, so this is the thing. Um, everybody knows today is my birthday, which I turned 40. And the other thing that was supposed to be announced today is that I am officially retiring from the CFL. <laughs> Wow. So, Cause for celebration, and I it, guess. And it's funny how it, how it happened because it was it was planned to do it on my birthday. Uh, and then it so happened that you guys contacted me yesterday and I said, what better way to do it than to do it like this? That's well, outstanding. UK, you just knocked me off my chair because I am <laughs> like millions of CFL fans that, it, that were ready to announce that you were signing with a team. You seem very at peace with this. Clearly so do your children. So what went uh, on? Yeah. My, uh, my daughter right here had a, had a big part to play in it, you know. So uh, with that being said, she was like, Dad, it's about time. It's about time for you to hang the cleats up. <laughs> so, so yeah, I am. I'm at peace with it. And uh, like I said, I, I've told a couple of people if uh, if they could have spent this off season with me, um, they could have pop. They could have. They would have known what direction I was going in and leaning towards. Um, but I also always said that you know if something if there was a, a good situation, I may have taken it. But right now, I'm at peace. You know, and it, it's good. Kevin, now, this kid with all, all my children now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, he looks like a very happy guy as he announces his retirement. Most are not. Um, but KG, they're gonna they're gonna have their dad for the first summer of their lives. Clearly, they're aware of this. The first, well, the first summer here in Michigan, exactly. But this is the first time in though know, this is the first time I've had a chance to actually spend my birthday with them too. So it's a it's a lot of firsts, you know. But uh, they've always came up to whatever city I was playing in. Um, I think that's the one thing that my son, I think he's going to miss because he loves coming up to Canada for the summers, you know, and we going to all the <laughs> university camps and stuff. So uh, it, it's going to be a little different, but at the same time, we can always come visit. You know, okay, Canada so is still football home. question, football question in a moment, but tell me what you're doing at your kid's school. Let's get the kids into this. Here we go. So they have a celebration of learning. You want to, you go ahead, Caleb, tell them. They got a celebration of learning to where throughout the year they study a certain thing. Um, and then this day, they bring all of they invite all the parents here, and then they actually get to perform and talk about uh, all the things that they study throughout the uh, course of the year. So, Caleb, tell them what you guys study this this for this celebration uh, of learning. For this, Caleb, go. Uh, this year for our celebration of learning, we tell the parents what we've done in Unit One and Unit Two about the Revolution War, about the Revolution War. Was it fun learning it? Yeah. Was, was it fun learning it? Mm -hmm. Anybody else think it was fun it learning was it? Fun! Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't play on it. it. So, Dio, so, what was your celebration learning for? So about my celebration learning is when it's like we was working on birds, and I'm in the pelican group, and I know that pelicans have big pouches. Sometimes they fly and they go get the prey. Good job. So she knows her stuff. <laughs> they do. They um they're they're really into it. I mean their mom's an educator, so it, it has to it has to be like that. <laughs> so I've never heard of this in Canada. Maybe we can adopt this up here in the Great White North KG, but at one o'clock Eastern when you do this, or what 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 is it gonna be? Whatever time it is, three PM Eastern is the whole gym full. What happens? Um, but basically, they do it by different grades. So actually, the fourth grader, which is my son, they've already actually been this morning, I think, at like 930. So my daughter hasn't performed yet. Hers is at 1 o'clock. Um, so we're Eastern time. So we're waiting. Uh, we have another, what, an hour or so before she actually gets the chance to present her things. So she's told everybody else what they're going to actually talk about. Um, so they, they already know. But a couple of parents, me being a, a parent that's kind of involved, 
uh, I kind of knew what was going on beforehand. Last question before I let you get back to the kids. How would you like to be remembered for your career in football? Um, you know what? I think kind of how I uh, how I played throughout all these different CFL teams. And I know I, I seen a sign up on the back of your wall that said the ambassador. And that's kind of what I compare my that's what I kind of say about myself to where I've been in every city. Um, I know there's two different places where I never got a chance to put on the uniform, but I was actually uh, affiliated with the team. Um, but 18 years and being in that in the CFL, uh, I just consider myself the ambassador where it's, there's any and everything um, in these cities that I can talk about. Um, one thing is, is that Kevin Glenn was always a great teammate. It didn't matter whether or not I was a starter, if I was the backup, um, if I was hurt. Um, there was times where I was hurt, wasn't playing, and I still was at the meetings on time, um, still helping the guys out, uh, still making sure that uh, the, the younger guys were put in a position, you know, to be successful. So always remembered as a, as a teammate because that's what this sport is about. The sport is the ultimate teammate sport, and that's what I would like to be remembered as. Well, you are. And you and I have been knowing each other since 2001. You are yes. always yeah. been a, a first-class act, long before these kids were even around. Exactly. And, <laughs> yeah, and we know that you're going to the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, and a lot of people wanted to know what you were referring to on your tweet last week about quarterback <laughs> analysis. I don't think today's the day. Maybe we'll have you answer in, in another time. Oh, we can talk about it. That's, I mean, that's some of the stuff that I've been doing this offseason is, you know, training the youth. Um, high school and uh, college kids. And uh, it's just one of those things where uh, I've seen, you know, meeting some of these young kids to where you, you get them and they start telling you things about a, a person who's actually training them and what, they, what they're what they telling them. And it's just sometimes it's sad, you know, that some people can uh, prey on young children and families who or parents who don't actually know what's going on. So that's my thing. My thing is to try to bring some transparency to this, to this whole, uh, it, it's a it's a fad that's going on with this quarterback training thing. I mean, everybody's getting into it. So um, it's kind of something something that I've been, been you know, dipping and dabbing into in this offseason. Are you going to coach then? What's next for Kevin Glenn? I don't know. Um, possibly. That's, that's something um, to look forward to. Um, my biggest thing was knowing that this was going to come. Uh, I, wanted, I didn't want to jump right into uh, the same routine of being away from the family. I wanted at least, you know, that first year – to be at home, be around the family, um, and, you know, actually have a chance to uh, to see my kids on my birthday, you know? Because if I would have went into coaching, um, I probably wouldn't be here right now. I'd probably be up there in the CFL. <laughs> That's a very good point. Well, KG, I will say on behalf of the CFL, thanks for everything. You are an ambassador. You're going to the Hall of Fame. Go enjoy your birthday and thank the kids for being part of the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. You want to say something? Hold on. All right, my son Caleb said he want to say something. I want to say that the people that are watching this, they might see me in the CFL. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Wait. I have a question. You have a question? Okay, so my daddy works really hard on his career, so I just want to say a big happy birthday. Thank wow. you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, KG. Thanks, my man. Stay close. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.